I'm Ramona Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. I'm standing here at the doorstep, the steps of the Esselstyn family home at their farm in Claverack, New York. I was here for Plant Stock 2017. That's what we're doing here. I gave a talk on the microbiome, which was awesome. A lot of energetic people, a lot of great people to talk to. But on this video, I want to talk about the microbiome and acne. Acne, unfortunately, affects most people at some point in their lives. It affects 40 to 50 million people in the U.S. alone, mainly adolescents and adults. Factors influencing acne development are excessive sebum production, follicular hyperkeratinization of pilosebaceous ducts, and an increased release of inflammatory mediators. So in short, it's chronic inflammation. There's some that hypothesize a certain bacteria, Propionobacterium acnes, contributes to the formation of acne. Many suspect that acne is a visible manifestation of a systemic problem. For example, insulin resistance, microbiome dysbiosis, inflammation, and poor nutrition. Most experts agree that acne is a pro-inflammatory process. This is also demonstrated by the fact that antibiotics seem to improve acne. These antibiotics, funny enough, have been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects independent of their antimicrobial effects. Currently, in traditional medicine, antibiotics are the first-line therapy for acne, and usually a long course is prescribed, like three to six months worth. Of course, these long-term antibiotics have adverse effects on the microbiome as a whole. Not only do they alter skin flora, they change the gut microbiome and your overall health as a whole. Scientists are now finding a link between people who've been on tetracycline long-term for acne and inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. We know these antibiotics are no good in the long-term. So I think we can all agree there's a need for a safe, effective treatment for acne. Lucky for us, there's plenty of research on alternative acne treatments that work. We know that eating mostly plants will improve the skin microbiome and therefore improve acne. There's also some other strategies to improve acne. Let's start the discussion with probiotics. Probiotic supplementation has been shown to improve acne. Specifically, bifidobacterium and lactobacillus have both been shown to improve acne when taken in supplement form. While the mechanism for improving acne has not been elucidated, scientists think it's because they reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. We know that people with acne have a high rate of lipid peroxidation. What that means for you is that they require more antioxidants in their blood. Orally consumed pre and probiotics have been shown to reduce systemic inflammation and regulate the release of inflammatory cytokines on the skin, meaning down-regulating that inflammatory chronic process. Let's move on to diet. We talk about the health benefits of eating plenty of fruits and vegetables and fiber a lot on this channel, but how does this impact acne? We know that eating this way improves the health of the gut microbiome, and we know that the gut microbiome plays an integral role in almost every aspect of human health. But let's get into the nitty gritty. Studies that show a low glycemic load diet will improve acne by regulating insulin and blood sugar levels. A low glycemic load diet balances carbohydrate intake with dietary fiber, and that slows down digestion and slowing down the release of sugar into the bloodstream as a result of that. A low glycemic diet would be a diet in complex carbohydrates that's rich in complex carbohydrates. None of those simple carbohydrates that are infamous for causing blood sugar spikes. None of that white sugar. On the topic of diet, a diet packed with fiber from fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains has been correlated with an improvement in acne. The exact mechanism for this is unknown, but we do know that this diet results in greater insulin sensitivity and less systemic inflammation as a whole in the body. In summary, we know that acne is a multifactorial and complex condition, but we also know it's been effectively treated with dietary intervention. Whether these plant foods act through changing the microbiome or the skin environment directly is unclear. A diet high in plant matter and low in simple carbohydrates causes significant improvement in acne. So there you go. Short answer to this whole video, eat more plants, eat more fiber. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the material covered in this video. And let us know what health topics you want to learn more about. Until next time, aloha.